Harry and Meghan, can they actually get anything right? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Thank you for your company today. And if you're wondering what I'm stood next to today, it is a rather splendid clock. Erected in 1892 under the instruction of Her Majesty Queen Victoria, this was the clock that everybody in the area looked to to find out the time. Remember, people didn't have clocks in those days. It was taken down in 1964 simply for repairs but never to return and then re-erected in 1981 and now back to its former glory after being painted. A wonderful spectacle and of course one of those pivotal sort of uh, things that you want to look at as you're walking through Victoria. But as ever, back to your royal story of the day. Well, as we know, yesterday was a rather poignant day for many people around the world. 9-11, who could forget such a terrible atrocity? And we mustn't, of course, because it was just a terrible, terrible situation for so many. And let's not forget and thank many of those brave people that did risk their own lives trying to save others. People do forget that, but there are unselfish people in this world who will do that for others. So a huge thank you from everybody here in the United Kingdom back to you, whoever you may be. But of course, Harry and Meghan had to feature in that particular story. Now, on this particular occasion, I do feel slightly sorry for them, simply because they clearly have no idea just how, well, unimportant they've become. It's difficult for Prince Harry, you see, because yesterday they decided to change the face of their website, Archwell, and put the list of names of the terrible people that were lost to that tragedy. But, as ever, there's a backlash, and here's the reason why. It's a simple reason, really, because while they were very kind in highlighting the names of those people, a lot of people are saying, well, you're just drawing attention to a charity website, and you can understand that in some respects. But from Prince Harry's perspective, I can see that he's finding it very difficult to really learn the fact that he's just becoming micro-celebrity. You've got to remember, when he was in the British royal family, if he released a statement or indeed made such a good gesture like that, it would be applauded. Of course, people took notice. But since he decided to, well, disappear, remove himself from royal life, who are they? Why do we really care whether they think it or not? Now, you could say, of course, lots of people did that. Yes, they did, and rightly so. But of course, lots of people also aren't trying to draw attention to themselves. Now, I'm not suggesting for one minute that Harry and Meghan didn't have good intentions, but I think the difficulty for those two moving forward is finding out that whatever they do right now, they are celebrities, that's the problem. They're just celebrities. And when people decide that they don't want to hear from celebrities, but from more, well, highly respected people like Her Majesty the Queen, Prince Charles, that sort of thing, it does make your effort pale into insignificance. And I think this, as I've said many times before here on the show, is going to be a very hard lesson for Harry and Meghan to learn. Neil Sean, Victoria, London.